see here as precipitation winding down across the area. We still have some snow in northern Nebraska for the next couple of hours. Then we're just looking at more of a mostly cloudy day, a blustery day. Northwest wind strong and temperatures remaining on the chilly side. Skies will continue to clear up tonight. A few clouds during the evening, but then later in the night we'll see more clearing. And this is going to lead to, for many of us, the coldest night of the season so far. Lighter winds will allow those temperatures to fall back into the mid and upper 20s and lower 30s. So many of us dropping to near or below freezing. By tomorrow afternoon, it actually turns out to be an okay afternoon, better than what we've seen the last couple of days. But clouds will be on the increase later in the afternoon, and here comes our next chance of moisture. Some rain moving into the area Thursday night into Friday morning. Some of this rain, a little light to moderate. And then up north, we may start to see it mix in with some snow early on Friday morning. I think our main chance of any snow mixing in will remain in the northern part of the state. This could last through the first half of the day, maybe the first two-thirds of the day of Friday here. But again, I think it's more of going to be a chilly rain around the Tri-Cities area. And that will then clear out late in the afternoon, Friday, and into Friday night here before we see our next round come in over the weekend, which we'll get into here on your seven-day forecast in just a bit. This map is lit up like a Christmas tree, but notice all the colors are blues and purples and pinks, which indicate more of the wintry side of things as opposed to the nice weather side of things here. So first off, the here and now. Until 9 o'clock this morning, a winter storm warning and winter weather advisory off to the northwest. Now, the good news is a lot of this precipitation has not come to fruition when it comes to the amounts because, again, a lot of this has melted. I think here in the next couple of hours, we'll start to get more indication of what the numbers look like. But as of right now, I'm not hearing of much accumulation with the snow, which is good news. Also, right now, until 11 o'clock this morning, a freeze warning in the far southwest corner of the viewing area, Dundee and Hitchcock County out there in southwest Nebraska. Once that wraps up at 11 o'clock, the next issue will be a hard freeze warning, not just for McCook, but also those counties to the west of McCook. The problem is they're being covered up by a freeze warning right now, but a harsh freeze warning, that will come into effect tonight, midnight tonight through 11 o'clock tomorrow morning in those locations. That means it's likely going to be well below freezing. We're talking about 28 degrees or colder in those spots. A freeze warning in place for south central Nebraska, parts of north central Kansas from 1 o'clock tomorrow morning through 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. That is when we'll see those temperatures fall back to around 28 to 32 degrees, so below freezing, widespread frost expected. A freeze watch in eastern Nebraska, it's likely that the Omaha National Weather Service and parts of the Hastings National Weather Service will wait to see what the temperatures look like. We're looking at more of probably a 30 to 34 degree range in those locations, but that will be in effect late tonight and through tomorrow morning. Frost advisory for Republic County, Kansas, in the extreme southeast corner of the local Fort Viewing area from 4 o'clock tomorrow morning through 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, where the temperature could drop to about 32 to 35 degrees early tomorrow morning. So again, a lot going on there. Hopefully you got that all. Otherwise, rewind it, go back over. I think I've covered it all to get kind of a clarification of what all these, these different colors mean. Now let's look at your forecast for today. The snow ending here in the next couple of hours and then remaining cloudy much of the rest of the day up north. Mid to upper 30s, low to mid 40s, not a really pleasant day. And those northwest winds blustery, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Low to mid 40s out west, maybe upper 40s around Beaver City, mostly cloudy, a brisk northwest wind as well. To the south, we're looking at mid to upper 40s, perhaps closer to 50 in Phillipsburg, Kansas, mostly cloudy skies, blustery winds out of the northwest. Again, same old thing to these, blustery winds, part mostly cloudy, maybe a little light rain early this morning, but ending pretty quickly, mid to upper 40s for afternoon high temperatures. Over the next couple of days, we have temperatures that will be cold tonight. I'm going to go with 29 for the Tri-Cities, a high of 50 tomorrow, clouds increasing late in the afternoon. That next chance of rain, a slight chance prior to midnight, a better chance after midnight, and continuing through at least the first half of the day on Friday. This will be a chilly rain. I do not expect snow in the Tri-Cities, maybe up in the northern half of the state, a little snow mixing in. Then Friday night, we'll clear it out completely, 36 for a low temperature Saturday morning. The big change to the forecast, I have taken out the rain chance during the daytime hours of Saturday. Uh, most, Almost every forecast model is now keeping us dry, and we may actually warm up a little bit. It will turn out to be a, a decent afternoon compared to where we've been, at least. This is pretty decent out there, 57 for a high. And then a slight chance of light rain starting to mix with snow. Saturday night, late Saturday night is when we start to see that snow mixing as it gets cold enough. 
and that could linger into Sunday, especially the first half of the day of Sunday. I don't expect a lot of precipitation with this. This looks to be a light precipitation event as a cold front comes through, more of a clipper, so probably not going to see any snow accumulation, or if we do, it would be more of a dusting. But it will be a chilly and blustery day on Sunday, a high only in the upper 30s. The winds die down, the skies clear up on Sunday night, and we are talking about a cold night, in fact, a colder night than what we have in store for tonight. We're talking about mid-20s for overnight lows. Some may see lower 20. So that's the coldest air of the season so far. And I know we repeat that a lot as we go through fall, the coldest air of the season so far. But again, it is going to be a chilly start to our we work week early next week. High in the upper 40s on Monday, lower 50s on Tuesday with sunshine returning. And as of right now, long-range forecast models continue to hint at those temperatures back into the 60s and 70s towards the very end of next week around Thursday and especially by Friday of next week. It's going to get better and mostly dry conditions will prevail most of next week. So we can finally get that harvest going for those out there. Maybe some of us can get things mowed. I haven't had a chance to mow. I'm trying to find a chance where I can sneak in a lawn mowing here in the next few days. Saturday might be my day there. So along with that, Husker forecast, speaking of Saturday, an 11 a.m. kickoff between the Inus and the Inus, the Battle of the Inus, Nebraska and Northwestern. Uh, not too bad out there, really. It looks like a lot of sunshine there in Evanston, Illinois, just north of Chicago. Temperatures in the 40s prior to the ga game and right around kickoff, upper 40s, low to mid 50s at the end of the game. So not a big warm-up. Not a whole lot of wind out of the west and southwest at 5 to 10, maybe as high as 15 miles per hour. But, you know, that's football weather. That's Big Ten weather. It won't be an if it won't be affecting the game at all, it looks like, at this point here. So, all right, well, there you go. Again, uh, one last thing I'll show everybody here. I might as well show this on the recording as well. I showed it for those that are watching on Facebook Live. It is Hurricane Michael going to be making landfall later on this morning. This is a powerful category for a hurricane. 145 mile per hour sustained winds at its center. As of the time I'm recording this at around, it's now 7.12 in the morning. Uh, this thing is going to be uh, devastating for Panama City area here. Uh, storm surges will be incredible, and the winds will be destructive close to that eye. Of course, there could be tornadoes outside of that, especially on the east side, uh, those outer bands of the hurricane producing tornadoes that could do, of course, damage as well. So that's the uh, bad news that I'm going to leave you with as I wrap things up here. Hope you all here in Nebraska have a nice day today. Like I said, it's not going to be pleasant, but at least we're not dealing with this. It could be a whole lot worse. Keep those folks in your prayers. And I just, I pray and hope that people will not be in the path of the storm they've gotten out of there because this is going to be a destructive hurricane, Hurricane Michael here making landfall later on today. So, all right, well, take care and uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you all again tomorrow morning. God bless.